Now you've learned the science. Now's your chance to learn the art. Mr. Bernie Teeter. Thank you, Professor Fleming. This is Bernie. He is a mortician in Carthage, Texas, and he takes his job very seriously. He believes in giving people the dignity that they deserve at death, and he was actually loved and adored by the community, especially little old ladies. Bernie is a 2011 dark comedy based on a true story. It stars Jack Black as Bernie, the one everyone in town loves, Shirley MacLaine as Mrs. Nugent, and Matthew McConaughey as Danny Buck, the DA. Now, this video will contain spoilers, but I will let you know ahead of time so you can stop. <laughs> the last detail to be managed is the deceased's body position. Left hand over the right. The position of the head is oh so important. We're perfectly centered, turned ever so slightly to the right in greeting. He's now been cosmetized. He's ready to be dressed and casketed. Jack Black really does a great job as portraying Bernie. Like, he really does seem li like a guy you'd like to know. I Bernie was a very charismatic man, and he had the ability to make the world seem kind. Bernie lives in Carthage, Texas. Small town, everybody knows everybody, tight-knit group, you know, typical small-town America, I guess. And Bernie fits right in. His personality was just, like, magnetic. That personality, for too long, he was about the most popular man in Carthage. Love lifted me. Carthage, this is where the South begins. This is life behind the pine curtain. Carthage has such a good reputation as the best small town in Texas. Oh, hell, most people live in Carthage because they were born here. Being a mortician and someone who conducts funerals can be a pretty tough job, and he really had the heart for it. He really had that kindness about him that people appreciated and really felt like they could trust him and count on him to be there in their time of need. Thinking internment or cremation? Buried. We already have the plots. Yeah, this one. This is fine. I see. Yeah. Now, these composite wood with cloth we sell mostly to the county and also no warranty, of course. Also, how tall are you, Mr. Eccles? 6'2". Oh, dear. We may have to make a leg adjustment to get a proper fit. Not necessarily break the legs, but definitely bend no. the feet. Then may I suggest the Corinthian. You know, I gotta say something. That's really how you feel when you go to a funeral home. And I'm not putting anybody down. I understand it's a job. It's a business. You gotta keep the money coming in. But it really makes you feel like if you don't spend this amount of money on your loved one, did you really love them? Don't they deserve the best? So that really is a pretty crappy situation to be in. Me personally, just dump my body in the woods. I know that's probably not legal. Or, you know, cremate me and toss my ashes in the woods. I don't care. I really don't. You know what? I really want sky burial. Look it up. Or don't look it up if you're squeamish, but I want a sky burial. Plus, I always love feeding the birds. Put my remains to good use. <laughs> One day, Bernie conducts a funeral of Rod Nugent, a rich oil man and chairman of Carthage's bank. There he meets Marjorie Nugent, his widow, who is a mean-spirited older woman who doesn't appear to get along with anyone, frankly, except Bernie. Some people may not have agreed with the way her husband had ran things, but when she took over, it was pretty much unbearable. Like I said, she was not a pleasant woman. She was just a mean, old, hateful bitch. <laughs> There's just no other way to put it. So eventually he tries to warm up to her. He tries to say, you know, there's really a good person under there somewhere. And eventually they do become friends, like I said, and everything seems to be going okay. Bernie was living the lifestyle that he enjoyed because he was a man of, you know, culture and bird clocks. Bernie had a problem with money. He was generous. Some folks say overly generous. And so this gave him the opportunity to befriend someone and have a decent time with them. And plus, he probably felt good, like, look, everybody hates her. And look how she really, under that tough exterior, she's really a nice woman. Until she wasn't. Eventually, she even fires the older man who's been maintaining her lawn and her property. You just fired me. What happened? She say I stole the lawn more. Why does she think that? Oh, she saw me leave with it. I was taking it to get it fixed. I will get to the bottom of it and I will call you back. And when Bernie shows up to the house, she starts screaming and yelling at him. She even complains that she doesn't think the landscaper planted the flowers he was supposed to because they were supposed to bloom two weeks ago. I don't think that he would ever do anything Why like... Why are you sticking up for his kind? 
Marjorie, you're making it very hard to be your friend. So Bernie says, you know what, I'll come back later. And so he starts to drive away. She closes the gate on him and he feels trapped. So he decides to go back. Okay, some spoilers ahead. You're being warned. Thank you, spoiler alert. And one day he just breaks. She and him are going out and she's just annoying him. And all he can picture is her smacking her her mouth because it really aggravates him that she's aggravating her TMJ. That's all he can picture right then. And the next thing he knows, he shot her in the back and killed her. And he runs over to her body. He's apologizing and he stops and he prays and then he has an epiphany. So during the time of her absence, Bernie is actually making all the decisions for her, all her financial decisions, because he's told everybody she's had a stroke and she's recovering at home. So for nine long months, that's what he's been telling people. Hello. Bernie? Bernie, wh where's Marjorie? She's with me right now, Lloyd, and I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier, but she's had a series of small strokes. No, she should not be attempting to talk. No, you can't talk, doc. She's indicating for me to tell you hi from her. He's actually using her money, not on himself. He helped people with their businesses. He bought gifts for people and their children. He even had a place for the maintenance man to live. And he was getting away with it, but her accountant got real suspicious. So the cops and her granddaughter and her accountant show up at her house while Bernie's out. And one cop walks up to the freezer and he also has an epiphany. He's like, let me look in here. He opens it up and there's some frozen peas and vegetables and things like that. He starts rummaging through it a little bit and he sees hair. It's the top of her head. That's when they discovered her body was hiding in the freezer all this time. Bernie's arrested and he faces trial. I don't even remember picking up the gun that day. So why did you leave the body there? Everyone deserves a proper burial. I was just waiting for my chance to give her one. <laughs> Next to question Bernie is local DA Danny Buck. And as you can see him get up, he wipes his mouth off with his tie. I mean, did the guy in real life do that? Why was this added? And he starts questioning Bernie that maybe the reason that he actually did kill off the old lady was because he liked living lavishly. And Bernie was a man of culture. Les Miserables? Les Miserables. Well, you seem to know all these fancy words and stuff. Well, that one's not very difficult. <laughs> Even though the trial had been moved to another county, as you can see, people still love Bernie. Very charismatic, very friendly, made people laugh. A lot of people seemed to like him, and a lot of people actually showed up in support of Bernie. As you can see, they sold sandwiches and had little picnics out front, and uh, they were just waiting for the result of the trial. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of murderous charge. They gave me life. I won't even be up for parole for 50 years. I'll be 89 years old. After being put in prison, Bernie was actually a model inmate, and he was still loved by many people of the community. And as I mentioned, this is based on a true story, and in real life, they have buried Mrs. Nugent. She is buried next to her husband in a small cemetery just outside of Carthage, Texas. And here's the actual photo of Bernie and Mrs. Nugent and Jack Black and Shirley MacLaine playing those roles. And this is the actual videotape of Bernie. And when he's not teaching or involved in church-related activities, Bernie spends lots of his time in prison and craft shops where he makes needlepoint memorials for the recently deceased of Carthage. And that's Jack Black, of course. I like this movie. It was very entertaining. It's a nice little film to watch. I never heard of the true story until after I watched this movie. And, of course, Jack Black is just a likable guy, so it's kind of easy to see how people can fall for a Bernie if he's anything like Jack Black's version of Bernie. If you like my video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. And give me your opinions and thoughts in the comments, what you thought of the movie, or if you are going to watch the movie, let me know what you think will be interesting about it. So, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good day. Bye. Order up a couple of them bottles of Dom Perignon. You might get lucky. No, Dom!